It says we're offline. Uh, just give it a second. Oh, okay, we're good. I'm over All right, we're here. Back. Okay. We're back. We're back. Are we back? When right. the stream will come back, we know it's now. <laughs> the stream is back now. Uh, we'll have to. It may be under a new thing. Okay, on air for. Okay, there we go. We got people back. Mm, we're awesome. all alive. Hello. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sorry about that. Um, next time we stream, we'll we'll put the Ethernet cable into the PlayStation. Yeah. So let's tell the story. Of what? Of the. Of the previous stream. Oh yeah. So I did a test stream earlier tonight, um, which went for I don't know, like forty minutes. So it's just yes. playing Spyro. So um, <laughs> uh, Cass was playing through Hollow Knight. You mean Spyro? No, Hollow I mean Knight? Hollow Knight. Oh, oh, this was and, a while ago. Yes, yeah. and you had to stream it in 15-minute chunks because the PS4, the streaming, would, like, time out or something. Yeah. And so we had another stream before this where um, hey, she played oh, through here. Spyro, the dragon, yeah. um, to try to fix the problem or address the issue. And we streamed for... 40 you, minutes. We streamed for 40, 50 minutes, actually. Yeah. Um, and it just... You know, it worked fine. It worked flawlessly, like a charm. And um, now that we wanted to stream the, the game proper, like, that we were planning <laughs> on streaming... It didn't it, do. It, it gives us problems, yes. It's silly. I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do our best we to might, fix we it. We might still have some kind of issue. Hang on. Because this is frozen and you don't have the thing up there. Oh, no, the, the thing is... Uh, refresh the page. I did refresh the it's page. A, it says on air. Oh, okay. okay it it cool. only pops up if people comment. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We are okay. Yeah, let me refresh the stream. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. All right, so how do I get these bullies? Let's see, I need to get them away. Concrete Genie, A, we have returned, we're back. Okay, everyone's excited to see us. Hello, we're excited Hello. to see we're you back. too. Sorry about the thing. Yes. Me again. Our apologies. Um... Aiden's apologies for nothing. Can we doing dishes? Yep. No, <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, we're it's we're always in a state of constantly doing dishes, and I'm sorry I make so many dishes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I was hoping to find that one. Uh, thank you for being with us, even though you are doing the dishes, Aiden. Yes. We appreciate your presence. You can you be strong. Do dish. And um, I to took do? a look back in the chat earlier. Um, Sort of, uh, you guys are all great. We're lucky yeah. to have, like, really good people really tuning nice, to these streams. Really nice, chill people. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, guys. Um, thanks for all being cool. Yeah. We really, really appreciate it. Because it's like, you know, I, I like just hanging out with people. And just like, oh, we're just playing a game. Yeah. And, you know, it would be a real drag if we had five viewers and one of them was a hater. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, so thank you for not... Thank you for not. Durgan Bunny says it'd be fun to see you stream the Ori games. Recommended earlier. Streams are some of my favorites to watch. Oh, thank you. I. Thank that's, you. That's legitimately quite flattering. Yeah. Um, this is just something we started doing for fun. Um, yeah. To just kind of share, uh, you know, our, our our art process. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, also some of the things we like. We didn't. You know, it's always sort of a surprise to, to have someone who enjoys it like we do. So yeah. thank you, Brooklyn Bunny. And yeah, I will look into Ori in the Blind Forest. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I heard a lot about it. I've just never picked it up as a game. Uh, so I should. I should do that thing. Indeed. I think that would be a lot of fun. The, um... The, it, it is... Your recommendation carries a tremendous amount of weight because it's something that you clearly are very passionate about. Yeah. But, um... Our biggest hurdle is always time. Um, we we are always sort of fighting the the, <laughs> the, the flow of time. time. So, uh, in order to try something new, we have to make the time in order to figure it out. But maybe I can do a hey, I'm trying it new on stream. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, because I, I like think, that a lot. Like this game, I think would yeah, have been blind, blind playthroughs are a thing. Blind playthroughs are a thing. Blind, I, uh, yeah. I I generally like. <laughs> I, I'm torn about blind playthroughs because, on the one hand, if you don't know where to go in the game, oh my God, then yes. then you wind up like, no, oh, and and, and not just stuff Find like the this. Uh, it, that's another one. It's a different. One. Um, but not just like stuff like this. Like, oh, I can't get the paper, or I can't complete the challenge. But like, mm. if you wind up stuck, and you can't figure it out, then that's a lot of time that you're wasting on people, and I feel bad for like. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Here! No! Come back! 
Now, does it does it actively it run from you if you control. chase it, or does it always travel along the same path? It travels along the same path. So you don't necessarily need to chase it, but uh, I don't okay. know what all the paths are. That makes sense. So, I, I chase. Uh, was that? That's a thing I can do. Yeah, that's a it thing. It looks like a thing. Yeah, it's all the billboards. Yeah. Doing the billboards. Oh, the sun's <laughs> coming out. Yeah. So it's nice, like the light. Is that a is that a feature? Is that intended to look like the sun's coming out, or is it just? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Uh, the lighting is pretty fixed, depending on where you are. Like how it turns to kind of blue here if I'm behind the sign. Let's see. Durgan Bunny says that's fair, but then again, part of the game is the journey through it. Oh, I I yes. agree completely. Yes, I I do agree completely. And if you guys are interested in that, oh, yeah, much better. I will I will. Endeavor to try it out. Perfect match. Yes. Uh, just so long as you guys have patience with me <laughs> to try to figure things out as I go. Matched it. We could trade off. Oh, that's true, actually. That's a good idea. That with the two it. of us playing a game, I think it would be more likely that we would be able to get past those issues. That did it. You know, so one of my things that I would love to stream, huh. there is a the Dark exactly. Souls drinking game. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Yeah, Wait, so how are you going to stream that? that? Every time you die, you just that take a shot of beer. Like oh, no. So oh, we could stream no. this. Probably not much to yep. see on there, but... Well... And, fish. and so, for me, where I have a little bit more experience than you, uh, we could just put a timer on me. Like, five minutes, then I have to switch over to you. Uh... Yeah. I'd be okay with that. I'd be yeah. okay with that. It would definitely be a challenge. Oh, it would be fun. <laughs> Art is not lame. Art is good. That makes me viscerally unhappy. What? That they say art is art lame? Art is lame. I mean, I know the developers don't believe that, of course. But yes. Just, that's sad. I, yeah. Durgan I Bunny says, haha, sounds fun. Yeah. That would be an interesting time. Hello. All right. Can I get my dudes? Whoa. All right. Those dudes are stuck. These dudes are coming. That one would probably not be a... Um, uh, oh, hello. A family-friendly <laughs> stream, though, I yeah. think. Yeah. We would have to specifically say that that's going to be a, uh, um, for mature audiences only, yeah. because I can imagine there would be a decent amount of cursing, perhaps? Maybe? I don't and know. Also, drinking alcohol, doesn't that make a, a, a movie automatically, like, PG-13, if there's alcohol consumption in a movie? I did not know that, but I, I would know. I would believe that. Well, it's like they're, uh, if someone if someone smokes a cigarette in a movie now, it automatically gets an R rating. <laughs> really? Yeah. Right here. Oh. I think. I think. I think. <laughs> I would believe that as well. Yeah. I don't know where my dudes are. They left. But they I, were just right there. I know they were just right there. All right, where is the... Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah. Uh, should be up here, right? Where am I? I am there, so it's up there. There's there are some lights that I oh, didn't there. get. Oh, there's there's dudes. <laughs> He's stuck. They're all stuck in there. I got a buzz. Oh. Huh. Am I sitting on my phone? Probably. I don't want to sit on my phone. All right, where are the rest of the lights? Where's my phone? Where is your phone, Ron? Cassie, where's my phone? Where's your phone? Oh, I found it. I was sitting on it. You were sitting on it. Where's my pants? Where's what were you my doing there? pants? Ah! Ooh, I got cat ears. <laughs> Very good. Cat ears? Yeah, oh. for to to do on the on the dudes. Um, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. No, it's uh, it's Hannah. Oh good. Very good. All right, where? where I uh, I have my phone on vibrate during these streams because I'm kind of the uh, the maintenance guy for the building in yeah. which we live. So if something goes wrong, you're uh, the guy that has to fix yeah, it. Yeah, generally I'm the one that gets the the text or the call. All right, where are these lights? Particularly something 8:30 on a Friday night. I mean, who else are you gonna get to come out? That's true. That's true. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm literally missing. Where? All right, so it's up and to the left over here. <laughs> Again, thank you for bearing with me. Oh, you're fine. There's just like one tiny patch of lights that I missed. Mm. <laughs> Is that this building? Map, show me. Yeah. Uh. No, it's over here. Okay, so I'll go up on the Interesting. Ears. What is the what is the thing? No, I'm just I'm looking at the map. Does the map not show you where the lights are, or did oh. I miss? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh dear. Oh dear. I didn't realize that ended there. Uh, no, it does. Oh, and I see them. Uh, see the little the. The red arrow. That's you, right? Lights. Lights. Uh, so which ones are the ones that are lit? and Which ones are not? 
it's very hard to tell. Um, right uh, there. Those, yeah. those ones are unlit. I can I, see them I, over there. I can't even tell. Oh, okay. Yeah, the colors could have been a little bit more distinct. Friggin' Bunny says, ouch. Yeah, the, um... God. For, for what is a fairly family-friendly, um, game, the death is kind of grim. Yeah. When you fall and die. Yeah. Pretty grim. Mm -hmm. There you go. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, and then you can... Yeah, perfect. Uh, nope. I don't have any super paint. Need to clear that yeah. super paint. Where's my dudes? Where's my dudes? My dudes are down there. Summon your friends. My friends! Give me things to paint. Come to me. Good game design that uh, almost all the buildings are interconnected. Yeah, yeah, no. Yes. Aiden says, oh no, not again. <laughs> I assume <laughs> referring falling. to the falling death. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try not to do that, because it is... It's a lot. Do it as much as you want. No! <laughs> fall to your death as much as you want. I uh, mean, it is a video game. If you don't want to fall to your death, then don't. <laughs> sometimes the controls... Mm -hmm. Sometimes my button inputs mean that... No, I feel that. Oh, it's just because it's a corner, it's a corner. Okay, there we go. It's a little jank. It's a little janky. Can't and we're this. gonna do this Need thing. To clear it with some super Here we go. Oh. Perfect. That was it. That was the thing. That was the last one I was looking for. Ah. And the music huh? in this game is so nice. What? what are you How many do? more zones have you got? It does look like the sun is coming <clears throat> out. Maybe that is intentional. <coughs> Um, I Aiden think... says, oh, this time it was me. Oh, the stream oh, must oh, have quit Oh, the stream must have quit out, I see. Fall damage is hard to tell if it's good or bad thing for the most part because it's realistic. You this take area. fall damage, but Who's then next? again, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> it, yeah I think it, it really depends on the game. Because um, sometimes it's not necessary. For a game like this, I don't think it's integral to what they're trying to do. No, but I don't mind Oops. it either because no there is a pain. sense of realism to this game. Somewhat, but I mean, also it's like I mean, look at the place. You've got the like, neon graffiti genies helping you to <laughs> unify the city and remove the magic pollution. So yeah, you know that's also true. Then we get paid. Yeah, a cast car agrees that the sun does look like it's starting to come out in a, a Mario Sunshine pages. kind of way. Yeah, yeah, the sky looks lighter it, it every, look with, lighter. with every area you brighten up. I think. I would, I would, I would believe that that's intentional. Yeah. Ouch! Oh, you're fine. Um. All right, I need to get my jeans. Yeah. Um. Just. <sighs> Uh, there was yeah. a game, uh, the the Prince of Persia oh. remake uh, came oh, out. Yeah. Um, oh god, uh, that was an Xbox 360 game. So it was 2007, 2006, something like that. And it got a lot of flack when it came out because um, <laughs> if you fail a jump and you like fall instead of dying. Um, he's like, oh no, no no, that's not what happened because no. he's telling you a story. That's the framing for it. No, you're you're like lady friend who helps you through the game, she, like, grabs you and pulls you back with her magic powers. No, no, you have a time thing. It's the Prince of Persia The Sands of Time, that one? No, no, it wasn't Sands of Time, it was a, um... Oh, it was a different It's one. a remake. Or, or reimagining. Or of the original. Reboot. reboot. Oh, okay, there it is. okay, okay. Uh, like Airbud Nick, Aiden, I don't care how you guys feel about, I don't know how you guys feel about horror games, I recommend Scarlet Hollow. It's a novel type game. Your choices affect the ending. First chapter is free on Steam. Second chapter is currently production. Oh, all right. Cool. I I can't play horror games because no. I just get way too anxious. Hey, but I'll watch Ross play horror I like them. Games. I like them quite a bit. Yes, and you're you're fairly good at them. I mean, is it? Oh, he took a he took a thing. Oh, oh dear. Goodbye. Ah, oh, that water is nasty. Goodbye. I don't know if you qualify, like, horror games as something you can be good at. Because, okay, so you can be a good, like, shooter player, but, like, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at uh, amnesia. Well, I don't know, you're, you're good at keeping your cool and solving problems. Okay. Yeah, alright, all right, I guess that's true. Um, oh, the, I, I, sorry, the topic of horror games has brought me back. I have to talk about my other favorite horror <laughs> game, uh, Dead Space. Oh yeah, Dead Gotta Space. Gotta rep Dead Space. 
Gone but not forgotten. EA has abandoned the franchise, but I have not. You have I not. love it. It's great. There's nothing else quite like it. It's very good. Hello? Can I get them over here? Oh. This is the question. Do I need them over here? I need them to open the gate, yes. Hmm. Uh, yeah, how would they get over there? I don't remember how I got them over here the first time. Because I was supposed to put one of them on a crate and make them go up and around. <laughs> Dirk and Bunny says, I get that. I definitely can't play horror games, lol. Anxiety <laughs> overload. Yeah, same. We, like, I tried playing Alien Isolation because I do love that game. It's very well done. Uh, can't. Can't. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. it's, it's a lot. It's just a lot. Aiden says, brought the OG Dead Space. Yeah, um, 2 is probably my favorite because it was, like, the perfect blend of... Uh, well, like action and horror. Fun. I think the first one was still finding its legs, and the third mm. one was a victim of too much corporate meddling. Yeah. The third one has a special place in my heart because. It, Real quick, what direction it, for this? This. Oh yes, creature. do that one. I like that. It looks like a tree. <laughs> uh, what? What? Right, left, up, down. Uh, up. As up as you can. So get. we're just keep keep doing the ups. Oh no, I'm sorry. Down then. Oh, oh it's it looks French like French fries. fries! Okay, yeah, oh, we can begin. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the dead space. You're mm -hmm. talking about how the third one. Uh, uh, yes. The third one, I really appreciate what they were trying to do with the story because they were trying to fuse the space gameplay huh. of the first two mm -mm. with nope. um, the thing style Arctic, you know, survival horror. And then, like an At the Mountains of Madness style HP Lovecraft hmm. descent into this alien Ugh. city, mm. which is so freaking cool. But the game just drags. It it goes on entirely too long, and uh, the weapon system that they implemented means you're never really hurting for ammo, and you can make some pretty OP guns for yourself. Mm. So it's like let's see how that looks. But yeah, uh, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed Dead Space. Two is two is the best. If you haven't played two, it's it's definitely worth a play. Hi there. Three is the co-op one, right? That we yeah, played that's together? that's okay. the one that it it made some some poor choices. Mm. Uh, but yeah, how they how they handled the HUD or lack thereof was really tremendous. The French fries float, and I gave them mustache. I love the French fries. <laughs> very good. I love the mustache it's French fries. Very good. Let's see. Aiden Can says, to be fair, the first chapter of Scarlet Hollow is much more story establishment. So, Cass, you'd probably be able to handle it. Okay. Yeah, I'm Long down. Face. I'm down for story. That's good. Uh, I call him Grimace. <laughs> no. 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 There was a French fry one, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, they're just called the Fry Kids. They were. They were just. Can we make a grimace? <laughs> Uh, there's not a purple, but there's blue. I can make a blue one. Later on in the stream. Or later on. Okay, we need a grimace. That's okay. very important. We cannot forget that. Um, a cast car, I would still say it's it's pretty unique. There are other games that do the over-the-shoulder, like, even with a no-hud thing, but I think Dead Space was... I mean, Dead Space was sort of a pioneer of that, but, like, yeah, nothing else quite hit it. A lot of games nowadays, the... Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna go on my old man rant here. <laughs> Every game nowadays is designed for like 1080p or 4K, 60 frames a second, and they make the HUD super tiny with tiny fonts so you can't see anything of what's going on. So you need a giant TV. Yeah, so you have to go out and buy a giant TV like I did back in 2016 when I got my own place, <laughs> so that you can see the tiny font in the games when you play them. Hey, o um, over here! But Dead Space handled that really elegantly. Um... Just, oh yeah, the face is kind of purple. Yeah. Yes, Aiden, kids these days, okay? <laughs> and by kids, I mean uh, game developers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How's that look? Certain game developers, because like people that made this game, pretty cool. Yeah. I think I um, think they kind of nailed there's it. There's really no reason games these days shouldn't have a slider to adjust the size of the UI. Actually, yeah, um, that's a really good point, especially for like people who are visually impaired. Like Ross has glasses, and like yep. you need to be able to see stuff. I like things bright and I like things big because it's easier to see. Yeah. Do the Can thing. you help me with yeah. this? Do the thing. Um, a really good example of this was The Last of Us Two. Mm. Um. The UI is super customizable. You can make things big, small. You can have it fade out. Oh yeah, didn't they have like a even a color blindness? Yes, there were setting? several types of accessibility options for people who are visually impaired. Um, 
ones that reduce visual noise, settings for colorblind people, and then there was just like, do you want all your collectibles highlighted bright red? <laughs> Select this option. Which is like, it's so good. Yeah. No. <laughs> Bullies. Chicken. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, forget this. Next time, freak. I I do appreciate the fact that they gave like the bullies have a reason to be I guess upset. A reason they're so mean and destructive. It doesn't make it okay though. Like I do appreciate that they did that. Well, I mean, in real life there's generally a reason why bullies are bullies. Mm -hmm. This is I'll need some true. super Is that one of those three-wheel trucks? Yeah. Amazing. It looks like a boat. Is this supposed to be in Russia? I well, I don't know. It's called Denska. Denska. Yeah. Like I'm not sure. But nothing's in Cyrillic. Well, I mean, it's an American. I believe it's an American-made game. You can look it up though to see I if, don't know. if it looks like some kind of electric stuff. forklift. Yeah. Um. See, the chat is talking about different accessibility things. Um, I think Professor Lee says was onto something. They need uh, subtitles to process what they're hearing. Mm, that's fair. Um, Aiden kind of agrees. Um, it's a processing issue. I can hear perfectly fine, but it's an in one ear, out the other type of situation, so it helps Aiden to read. That's, yep. Apparently, yeah. Completely understandable. Um, because sometimes you like zone out for a second too, yeah, and like can't, you can't you can't always uh, focus absorb on it. everything hundred percent. Yeah, there are some games that I try to play with subtitles, or that I try to play without subtitles because I like the like the aesthetic. the feeling of immersion. Actually, The Last of Us Two was one of those games yes. where I kind of wanted the subtitles off. And then there's other games where it's just like you know what? No, give me the subtitles. Give me the show me everything. Yes. just make this accessible for me as possible. No more super paint. Yeah, alright, that's it for the super paint. Whoa. I actually kind of... So I kind of like not having subtitles for the opposite reason. Um, if I have... Uh, if I have subtitles, I'm tempted to just mash through them because I can read faster than the voice actors can deliver their dialogue. Mm. So when I turn that off, I have to actually listen and pay attention. So that... That it kind of helps you yeah, it, it, understand the story a bit better. It, it forces me to pay attention a little more. Mm. Very good. Yay. That's nice. It's just it's so nice. And now we get to make an electric dude. Oh yeah, Voltor, on a cart. My favorite. Wonder who this could be. All right. Electabuzz. Electabuzz. We will make an electric. Okay. Uh, we were gonna make a grimace. Oh. Well, hold on. Well, in the next section, we'll get a blue, a blue one. Okay. We'll make an Electabuzz. Aiden, yes, The Witcher. I tried. Oh yeah, The Witcher. I tried to play it, like, and I, I got, <sighs> I got a, a few missions into it. I don't know how far I got story-wise, but uh, I really loved the writing. I can see why people were raving about it. But as far as the actual gameplay, the accessibility of it, I just. Didn't, it didn't hook you quite. Yeah, it didn't hook me. Like, the gameplay was mediocre, and... Yeah, everyone was okay. mumbly, everything is tiny, and Geralt is such a... He's a man-man. I mean, I appreciate, you know, the, the male pandering the power works. fantasy in a video game. Every once in a while, I just want to play a game and wreck some stuff. Yeah. Um, Doom. Great. Doom was love great. Love it. Love it. I love that. Let's back but, up a bit. But, like, Witcher is sort of... Starting to come Geralt together. is such a caricature of the typical male video game protagonist. It's almost a joke to me. I can't mm. take him seriously. He's so tough all the time. <laughs> and manly. At least, like, Snake in Metal hey, Gear buddy. is kind of jokey. Like, there's yeah. a little bit of a parody there. Like, he's a parody of Snake Plissken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He go! Yeah. 
I love that. Here you go. I love the forklift. Yeah. Don't know how to drive real good, but that's okay. How does he get out of the forklift? Uh, he's against the wall now. It's not touching the wall. Yeah, that's fine. A cast car loves the new guy's tail. Yes, I tried to make it a uh, like an Electro Buzz. That's the closest I could get. We don't have the cat tail one yet. Aiden does say that the Witcher show is absolutely baller. I and have heard. Henry Cavill is Chef Kiss. I have heard that the Witcher, the show, is fantastic. No more driving for you, Leadfoot. Hmm. <laughs> so cute. Hmm. Very All right. good. All right, I'll give you stars. Um. So I, I have. That's another oh, one that I've been that meaning to too. watch, but have not watched. Again, our greatest enemy is time. Yeah. We need time for all these things. Time to, to sit down and watch. Yep. And I know we're, we're playing a game right now, so... Yeah. But I but, mean... But, like, this, this, is, for, is, this is for you guys. This is preordained. Yes, that's true. <laughs> this is fun for us, but it's not, like, our time exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, where is that other page? There's another one. There's one that flew. And there's one down there. Okay. How do I get there? Zipline? I guess. Ah, uh, there you are. Zipline. Gimme zip. Very good. Gimme zip. Double page. Hear me! No! Oh. So, playing yeah, the forest, like you can build ziplines. And the way that you, you have, instead of a flashlight, you have a little lighter that you bring out. If you have your lighter out when you use a zipline, your guy just, like, one hands the zipline. Is like a, like, uh, like a boss. It's wow. Crazy. Uh, Aiden continues to recommend Have something special uh, in mind, huh? The Witcher saying, cannot recommend it enough. <laughs> They're nothing about the franchise and was 100% aware of what was going on, not out of the loop at all. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. That's what I okay. was worried about, because yeah. my old boss was super into The Witcher. Like, he played, he loved the games, and then he started going into all the book series, uh, which apparently is extensive. Um, Can we talk about book series? Sure. What, you know you what know? I'm going to talk about. Uh, oh wait, so, which one? <laughs> you know which series I'm going to talk about. Uh, you really can't guess? Is it The Dark Tower? You just guessed. Okay, alright. You knew which one. Well, I wasn't sure. So, uh, I, again, because of time, I've been consuming most of my books uh, via Audible. Yes. Um, it's actually the only Amazon service we currently pay yeah, for right we support, now. Really. We're not I, a big supporter of Amazon. Yeah, uh, uh, Jeff, Jeff Bezos has enough money. He's too much money. Denska is the dumpska. Apparently, but now it's going to be lightning. Uh, I dig the lightning. That's very good. Lightning and rain. So, uh, Stephen King is sort of a pop culture phenomenon. Like, all his books are, like, you know, there's a movie The Shining, um, Carrie... Misery, like all his books are this big super thing, but I just I hadn't been able to get into any of his books. Yeah, I read some of his short stories in high school. Um, one of the short stories, uh, the Shawshank Redemption, was based on a short story. It wasn't a book; it was a short story, mm. and that was really good. I liked when Stephen King didn't have the pages to kind of talk Over about here. what the dude had for breakfast, and and he goes into like weird sex stuff too, which I don't. It's not. Like, it's why, it's why? weird. It's like you don't need yeah, to include that. I don't know. I, I I still have a problem with that. And but I, I've been I've been listening to some of his stuff on audiobook, and uh, I've really been enjoying his Dark Tower right books. Here. Yeah, uh, Aiden. I also read the Dark Tower in high school. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, like it's it's kind of unlike anything else that Stephen King's written. It's a western. It's kind of fantasy. It's kind of post-apocalyptic. It's kind of sci-fi. It's this nice blending of all these things that I really really am enjoying and it's kind of clicking for me.